Hey, and one of the most historic football rivalries in the old Pueblo, Sororo, headed to Sabino High School in a showdown for East Side bragging rights. The Sabercats came out roaring. And the momentum carried forward with AJ Skaggs hitting Kenneth Blackman, and Blackman is doing all the rest. Dodging tackles and taking it to the three yard line. And on the next play, Blackman in the Wildcat will push forward. That's a touchdown. Sabino leads 7 0, and the Sabercats were not finished. How about AJ Skaggs hitting Gabe Garcia right on the money, honey? That's a touchdown. Sabino leads 13 0. Saguaro will get the ball into the red zone later, but on fourth and goal, Devin Roberts falls just short. This game was all Sabino, but we are still waiting for a final score to finally come down. All right, from the northeast side near Sabino Canyon, let's head to the heart of the Catalina foothills for the home opener for the Falcons. That is where News 4 Tucson's very own David Kelly joins us live as Sawarita was hoping to spoil the season opener for Catalina foothills. Hey, Paul, my neighborhood, that's where we are tonight. And you know what? It was Catalina Foothills tonight having to play this ball game without their head coach, Darius Kelly, who missed the contest due to non-COVID-19 related reasons. So defensive coordinator David Class stood in and let me show you what happened when the lights went on. Visiting fans allowed tonight here in the foothills. So we have the not whole gang up from Saurita. Garrett Krauts, he's that one player to watch. Acting coach David Klass gave us at six. First offensive play of the season for the Falcons, Eden Bay. All the ladies say he's Bay. 75 yards to the house. Catalina Foothills goes up 8 nothing. Gabriel Elias slinging it for the Mustangs right down the seam to Aaron Bell. This is 32 yards to the doorstep. However, Saurita came away with no points. So their defense trying to keep a minute. Monacete Moliolo slicing and dicing for the TFL. And then some trickeration on the halfback pitch. Anthony Giaputo unloading deep to James Minor. He's just a 10th grader, but he knows how to add plus six. Mustangs, though, would miss the two-point conversion. And the Falcons defense, Luis Perez, just absolutely clobbering folks. Catalina Foothills opens 2020 with a 14-6 win over Saudita. So, Paul, it's a happy night up here in my neighborhood as the Falcons get the win. I'll send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> Hey, thanks a lot, David. We will check in with you a little bit later for more highlights. Next up for Catalina Foothills, a home matchup against CDO. Meanwhile, Sawadita will have to look for an opponent since Douglas has suspended its sports due to COVID-19. Hey, we're far from over with after the break. More sports, no fans allowed inside, no problem. And we're chilling outside, checking in the action, and it was an old school rivalry as Choya hosted Pueblo High School plus Cannon Duro and Ironwood Ridge duked it out in our play of the night. It's coming up as the Friday football fever rolls on.